the word. Are you talking about cosmic evolution, the origin of time, space, matter? I don't believe in that with the Big Bang. We'll talk about that in a minute. Are we talking about chemical evolution? Because according to the Big Bang theory, the Big Bang, you know, produced hydrogen and maybe some helium. Well, then how do we get all these other elements? You want me to believe uranium evolved from hydrogen? They'll say, well, yeah, fusion. You have fusion in stars. Yeah, but you can't fuse past iron very well. Number two, you've got a chicken and an egg problem here because you have to have the stars to make the elements and the elements to make the stars. Which one came first? Which brings up, of course, stellar evolution. How did the stars form? You know, nobody's ever seen a star form. Scientists don't even have a clue how a star could form. No even good theories about star formation. We cover more on that on video seven. But we see stars blow up all the time. It's called a nova or a supernova if it's a big one. Well, that happens all the time. But we never see one form. And yet there's enough stars out there that we know about that everybody on planet Earth, every single individual, can personally own 11 trillion stars to yourself. Those are the ones we know about. We don't know about the ones that we don't know about. Fourth